Hey guys, hey guys, welcome to my tenth installment of, what was it, oh yeah, Erringer album review. So, this is my tenth installment, I'm sorry, I still have to make of more videos than ever. I'm sorry I kept waiting for a whole, whole night of it, so what's wrong. So anyway, um, so... This one would be like a two-part one, not two-part. Will be like the two parts in one video. So, if you guys are familiar with a, I don't know a song called um, "Get Up." Well, in, in that song, some part of it was kind of a Jimmy Urban vocals, but at some point, it does really have great morals. With it. But, and in, in, in um. In this album, it has um, this song called Fuck Everything by Chantel Crentel. I don't know who that is. Please comment below who is who is who she is. Is it Demir's boyfriend, I mean girlfriend, or I don't know, this wife of his? I don't know. So, anyway, um, and then. I heard a song, it's like, it's pretty good, most actually. I did like it. And it does have different personalities with it. Like, at the beginning, I thought it was like a, another intro to another song, but it actually is an actual song with it. Like, that song takes me to another journey, saying, I'll be, I'll be at night, going to somewhere else, and just say, screw it, I screw it though, I rather go at my house anyway. So, that's what made me feel like I still had to go away for a while because I don't know anything that's wrong with it. So, I don't know if any, any of you heard about this uh, singer, a, a female singer, like from the If album um, called Get Up. Um, so, if you heard about, heard about the song, please, please uh, listen to it because You've heard of voice before. That was his. That was Jim Urban's girlfriend. For some reason, I switched it up, and it was that it was real for me, most of it. So anyway, um, like I did actually have a personality with the song. It was kind of good. It was awesome, and it was kind of. Uh, it was kind of good most of it. Like it felt, it felt me like. I, it inspired me to, I don't know, to go out, out, to go out there, and just explore the whole world. And Jeremy Irwin said, "Fuck everything, fuck, fuck everyone, fuck everything, all of it." And I don't know, it's like a, it's like a, um, I don't know, it's like the whole thing, it's like the lyrics are like saying, "Fuck, fuck, 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 fuck," all that, like. I don't know why I say that, but I don't care. So, anyway, so that song was kind of a, kind of catchy most of the time. But yeah, I listen to that song multiple times. And I know the meaning of it. Like, Dear Aaron has no place to go, so we take his. So we take his. Um. So we take. He takes. Um. Her. His. Uh, his girlfriend. And does go out in the night. And then there's this murder, there's this murder inside the part, inside the lyrics saying, and just, where, where are the bodies, of, where the bodies are buried? Like, that kind of scared me a little bit, because, at some point, it was kind of good, but most of them were scary, kind of. Like, that's why it's part of Halloween, most of the time. So anyway, um, so that song is really cool. I like it. It was kind of a big deal, most of the time, because, what went to listen to the song, it was making my mouth speak speak loudly though. Like I like the like the I like the circle thing saying what 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 and say like that to it. I like that so much. And then um the, I like uh his uh his girlfriend um saying on that one like that one line that's like pretty awesome most of the time, and it was kind of a, a big deal without nothing. So, and then, 
the, the, the outro was kind of good at the time they were out you and like I kept on singing I kept on lip, lip singing lip, I kept I kept on lip singing the whole lyrics and just say wow what do I just say and it was that kind of stuff with it like it compared to the other song called get up get up means like Jim Yarn had to get up the whole idea and the song means that he got to go he had to go out there with his girlfriend and his whole world don't is no, is no friend of his so that's really good that's really good for pouring out the whole ideas I don't care so so I don't I know speaking about this word of the lyrics but I do have but I do know that it was a, um, it was a, it was a great, it was a great track to listen to. If you ever, if you've never heard about, never heard about this song, please listen to it, please listen to it now, before I just speak to the other ones, without even doing it. So, um, yeah. It was kind of good, I like it. It was kind of awesome most of the time because I can't even say whatever to know. I can't say no to, to that song. That's what I'm talking in my head all the time. And I can't think, can't think out of my head right now because it's really good. And like the, um, and also the, the the music, the beats after he said the headline, it was blast my ears and like I was kind of saying wow inside my brain. And then actually, it burst out of my ears, saying, whatsoever. And then, um, it was kind of good, most of the time. I like it. I like how they, um, I like how they, um, actually both sang together. Like, it was a duet. It was a duet, kind of. It was a duet. And I like it. I, I like duets, because they're, like, both at the same time. Like, musicals, and pop songs, and rock songs, and, I don't know. In, 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 in any kind of genre, genre with duets with it. I like duet with um, Jimmy Irwin and, and his girlfriend. I like it so much. I like it so much I had to play it all over again if I had to. Okay. So anyway, um, that's, it. that's all time for you, for you today. Um, sorry, I am just gonna, gonna watch some more Scene Universe. I'm sorry that it's going to take so long to do it and then I don't care so anyway thank you guys for watching please like comment share subscribe and please comment below what's your favorite duet from Jimmy Yuring's favorite album or My Soul Dolphins itself anyway um thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya